Hi, this is Ron with Wheel in the Sky. Today I'm just going to talk about my journey channel. We're here still setting up the new headquarters. I've got a lot of boxes to go through. I finally found a hard drive which has some footage on here. I've posted a couple interviews. I've got a couple more interviews to post. I've also got a lot of old records of interviews and radio shows of Journey. Some have been posted here on YouTube, so I'll try to ignore those. And others haven't. I posted a video of interview in 1980 with Steve Perry and Greg Raleigh. I've got more of those interviews, and that interview, I've got, it, it actually lasts 40 minutes. Uh, I got plenty others on, on album. Uh, they've been digitized, so I promise I will get them up as soon as possible. Also, I'm going to see Journey for the first time since 2005. They're going to be playing at the Staples Center here in Los Angeles, California. I, I became a Journey fan in 1980. Uh, I never got to see Greg Rowley on concert. My uh, first concert was in Ventura County. Uh, it was pre-Escape. That uh, was right after Captured came out, and Jonathan Cain was already in the band. I, I really wish... I would have seen Greg in concert. Um, I really miss his vocals with Steve, uh, those songs, and I really miss his influence in the band. Then I saw Journey in 1981 at the Forum, I guess at the Forum. I also saw him at the Rose Bowl. That probably was in 1982. I also saw them in 1982 up in San Francisco for a day on the green. Um, that's a story for another time. Then. In 1983, I saw them five nights in a row at the Forum, at the Los Angeles Forum in Inglewood, California. Then, the next time I saw Journey, it kind of fell out in the 1980s. Never saw the 1986 tour. The next time I saw them was with Steve Ajeri in 2001 at the Greek Theater here in Los Angeles, California. It was a great concert. It was great to see the guys back. But, uh, unfortunately, Steve Smith was no longer with the band. In 2005, I saw Journey for the last time. I saw them at the Pechanga Casino, San Diego, California. Dean Castronova was on drums and uh, really, really, really looking forward to seeing them here at the Staples Center in Los Angeles on April 5th. Uh, it's the first time I'm going to see Arnell in concert, so I'm really looking forward to it. I really wish Steve Smith and Ross Valerie were there with the band because then the only person missing would be the lead singer and they've got a great replacement so I was looking forward to seeing that incarnation of the band but um, I have no idea who I'm going to see. Um, maybe Dean is on drums, I don't know. Uh, anybody has any comments about him being back in the band, please leave them below. Oh, I heard maybe Randy Jackson might be on bass. I never got to see him in 1986, so it would be great to see him now after seeing him for so many years on American Idol, talking so highly about Steve Perry. And so, on to this. This is the Journey folding sunglasses that I got through the Journey fan club back in, I'm guessing 1982, 1983 maybe? Uh, here we go. They just uh, unzip. They unfold. These unfold and you put them on. So you've got the journey. It says journey right over here on the lens. I can't see it from inside the glasses. So how do they look? They still work pretty good. The journey folding sunglasses. So in conclusion, I'm really looking forward to see Journey in April at the Staples Center. If anybody else is seeing Journey during the Freedom Tour, please comment below. Let me know how it's going. So send me your pictures and your stories, and I'll post them at Wheel in the Sky blog. Have a good day, everybody.